So the girls say goodbye to their loving and supporting families and set out on their journey. And I hope you've got your fill of these wonderfully fully fledged characters, such as Man 1, Woman 1, Man 2, and whatever the hell Tumblr thinks counts as a teenage boy, cause none of them will contribute to the story in any way further down the line. It is such a sweet sorrow to depart from a place and people I know absolutely nothing about. Something of note is Rosemary's father pointing out the locket she carries, which sets up the... conflict of the opening episode. He also brings up Rosemary's mother, who is... somewhere? More on all that later. So the girls hop on a cart and wave their goodbyes and... Are you kidding me with that shit? This is as good of a time as any to go over the visual side of things. Put it simply, the show is well below industry standard. Everyone knows it, everyone sees it, it's the first thing anyone points out about the show. However, there is a bit of nuance to be noted. First of all, I'm gonna separate the terms art direction and animation into two categories of discussion. The reason for this is twofold. One, that's actually how this works. The duty of designing characters and the environments and the creatures and what have you is a different job from actually making everything fit together and animate smoothly. The second reason is that on one of these fields the series does decently slash not awful all the time while utterly failing in the other. Can you guess which is which? Well, let's look at the art direction of the series first and foremost. On a conceptual level, the character designs as a whole range from okay to serviceable to Tumblr art self-parody shit tier. It's a mixed bag. There is a whole can full of subjectivity worms to be opened when discussing preferences in visual forms of art. For me, some designs are fine, others make me puke. <laughs> However, for a good chunk of the time, it's easy to read what each character is supposed to be about from a glance. Which is the main reason to populate a show with exaggerated designs, rather than generic looking guys and gals. Visual medium, so we are gonna communicate parts of the characterization via visuals. Obvious, entry level stuff. So here's where I'm gonna offer my one and only compliment for the show. It's a backhanded one, but a compliment nonetheless. The background art, environments, the towns, the world design, stuff like that. That's all perfectly acceptable. Ignore everything else, just look at the backgrounds. No one in their right mind would call this bad. It's not like it'll set your world on fire, the inspiration behind it is as generic as it comes. But it all looks nice. What it's supposed to look like. It's solid, and in a show like this, that is a rare solace. So here's the backhanded part. The fact that the background art is actually decent makes it criminal that you'd ever smear the rest of your shit all over it. You just wasted someone's effort by associating them with the rest of this fuckness. You wasted someone's time. These people here. All of them. You wasted all of their time. You should be ashamed of yourselves. And as for the other half of the visual equation, yeah, the animation is stiff and crude and amateurish, and any other insult you may think of. It's not even about the missing frames or the multitude of animation errors. It's the style itself. There's no energy, no elasticity to any of the movements. The shots are flat and boring, and everything just has this sterile feel to it. It's just going through the motions, pun very much intended, while adding as little effort and flair as humanly possible to barely qualify as an animated show. It lacks the heart that makes animation a worthwhile medium in the first place. Not that visuals and pristine animation are what makes a show good or bad. Far from it. Some of the movies and shows with the most painstakingly detailed and meticulous animation are utterly hollow story-wise. I would even go so far as to say many of them are utter shit. On the other hand, in a different timeline, if High Guardian Spice was an indie project premiering on YouTube or some such, I am absolutely certain it would have gotten a much kinder reception. That's just how the gingerbread crumbles. 
but returning back to the actual spice, there is no justification for a commercially published product released in 2021 with a huge evil corporation funding it to be looking so lackluster. The wonky animation lifts its ugly head often enough to be distracting, absolutely. Even if the story wasn't shit as it is. But that's what you get when your creative team consists of mentally challenged feminist land whales and money-grubbing spinsters. And that's no joke. Do you know who this dustbag is? Do you know who that is? That's Margaret Flippin' Dean. The president of WEAR. You know, the women's advocacy organization focusing on spewing empty words and swindling money from its members while offering no actual help or support of any kind. Just like all workers' unions. Forget Anita Sarkeesian, this is the main cunt sitting on a throne of stolen money. And now she's heading this clusterfuck project. I'm utterly convinced that High Guardian Spice is some kind of money laundering scheme, like in the movie The Producers. All the money intended for animation was probably used on cocaine and fucking kitty litter and dildos shaped like Kamala Harris's nose. Anyway, that's the long and short of it. The creators are talentless charlatans, the animation is horrid, the art is so-so at best, and none of that can make or break the series, because you cannot save a story with visuals. That's the important takeaway. I cannot emphasize that enough. I honestly do not care about visuals if the story is good. I do, however, care if the story is garbage, no matter how pretty the veneer is. Animation is a beautiful and fantastic medium. It allows us to realize basically anything, no matter how otherworldly or down to earth. It's inherently the medium of absolute creative freedom. Some of my favorite stories ever come from this art form. Yet, each of my favorite stories adhere to a singular truth. Beauty comes from the power of the story itself, not a sleek presentation. These are my standards. I don't care to live by any others. I won't mention the visuals again, you can all see them plainly yourself. What I will do is squeeze all the enjoyment I can get from this waste of space on my hard drive! Being surprised. Oh, good for you!